can just pull it by fucking. Good afternoon. Well, what we got going on here is I need to move this shed from its current location, which is right there, to behind that four-wheeler somewhere. Because that's exactly where I want to put my chicken coop. And I want it out of the way anyway. So, what I got is some old fence posts. We're going to try to roll this thing. I got it on some railway ties. I did some questionable rigging. And uh, my hope is that I can use the winch or tow it with the four-wheeler in low range because to use the truck, I'll need to move all that stuff in order to keep going with the truck. Whereas the quad, I can kind of tuck through it. So I'm hoping the rollers are enough that the quad can manage. But if not, we'll just keep scaling up in uh, terms of tow rigs. We might fire up the Jeep and use the Jeep. And uh, yeah. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to see if I can get it forward. And since it's kind of a slope going towards the quad, the stop plan is to put the brakes on in the four wheeler and let the shit hit the four wheeler and hopefully not wreck anything. I don't think this is going to get out of control though. It's not that much. Here we go.
good stuff to drive the truck in here. Pretty good feeling the quad can pull it now now that it's on the rollers and out of the leaves and the soft stuff those rollers need to be a bigger diameter like a six inch log would be mint problem is i can't go with the truck as far as i need to go with the shed so i have to either set up my snatch block fire up my jeep and run my winch line underneath it and pull it forward off that rock that maybe is heavy enough or back the truck in and anchor off the back of the truck maybe that would work first of all let's try the quad let's see what that gets us temp number two on the four wheeler going to be half overhanging this low spot but I'm going to flip the railway ties the other way actually no I might just keep the railway no I'm going to flip the railway ties the other way and level it off most likely not today
one because the only way that that's happening actually you know what i wrap that strap around it i probably rip it out of there no problem with the dodge well that was pretty good progress for a couple minutes there yeah give me a minute i'm gonna make adjustments well i decided i got the quad already you might as well give the quad a try it's such a, a short strap too it'll be hard to get the truck on it see what happens here what that weighs. Okay, so we kind of where we want it. I wanted it out past that tree a bit. I'm gonna level it off, get something underneath that side again, cause it's down in the abyss and see where I'm at. I might want to twist it just a little bit. That's pretty easy to do, I'm discovering. I could probably just do it with a pry bar or a two by four. So let's level it off and see what we got. Okay, well we got it nowhere near leveled off, but it's good enough for now. So that's phase one of the project is complete. The wood I got left to deal with. Phase two is to get this old chicken coop or dog house or whatever the previous owner used it for. It's been sitting here forever uh, up there. And we're gonna turn it into a chicken coop. I think it's, uh, zoom me out here, there we go. I think it's seven by, or six by seven or some weird size like that. I can't remember, I'll measure it. But regardless, that's what we're doing. So let's see if we can get her done. Same process with this one, except I'm not sure I'm gonna use the rollers cause I dragged it there with my Jeep, no problem. I think the four wheeler might move it. We're gonna try. I need the four wheeler to, sorry for the crazy cameras. I need the four wheeler to negotiate this tight corner. It'd be too hard to do it anything other than the Jeep or the four-wheeler. I don't think the truck can do it at all. Well, let's see if them 516 link bolts in them rotten skids holds up to 750 cc's of 
V twin power. Yep.
this is my progress so far. So I moved that shed obviously from there to there, which is perfect because now it's closer to, it's not so far to put things in there and vice versa. I got to level it still. It's just, I just dragged it over and parked it. I still got to go about probably at least four or five or six inches higher, somewhere in about that range because I want the wheelbarrow to be going underneath, but they're going to be able to, so this whole wall panel is getting ripped off. The window's gone. That hole that's there, I'm going to make a different hole for them to go into their run out the back here because their run is going to go in this area here. Probably bring it out like 10 feet. And any more room that I decide I want to give them, they're going to go back into the bush. Time. In the event that we have skunks or predators or something or that's be it's a problem i want to be able to lock them in the coop at night but uh and just open a door and let them out in the morning and then just close the door in the evening and the bottom area underneath the coop is also going to be part of their run so the wheelbarrow is only going to tuck under a little bit in fact it might it might not even be that the wheelbarrow goes under i might put like a board on a bit of an angle with you know like sides on it and that way, because the idea is I want to be able to just rake out the coop into the wheelbarrow. I want to have to change the bedding. And uh, this way they get a, a bit of outdoor run area under the coop that's protected by rain. So that's where I'm at. And the nesting boxes are going to go along here about 12 inches up. And they're going to be 12 inches high. And the door on them is going to flip down like this. So there'll be like a little slopey roof, like lean-to deal. Anyway, that's where we're at.